Sounds like something I would do. For once, it wasn't me. If you could only smell the smell coming off of this pile. Okay, I'm redoing this video because I did it on the tractor and I'm pretty sure no one could hear me. Um, but I'll just tell you what we're doing today. So I'm driving the manure spreader with the old feed tractor and Josh is loading me up. Um, this pile of compost, I guess it's compost is what you would call it. It's really from this shed used to be the loafing shed for the dairy when it was operational. And um, it was a layer of sawdust and then every day, um, more sawdust and lime would be put down really as needed which was usually every day because after the cows got done getting milked they would hang out up here and then they would come into the loafing shed and you can see there's fans and everything and so they were spoiled um, we're gonna hook up the spare i'm gonna spray while josh works on getting the axle fixed on the disc here so we can disc it up and seed it um, this fall for hopefully a spring crop of hay. I'm not sure what we're planting. Probably a uh, fescue orchard grass mix um, for square bales. So, but we'll see. We haven't bought any seed yet. So that's what we're doing today. And I feel silly talking to the camera, but we're doing it. Broke the glass. Forgot the window is up and backed into that pole. Sounds like something I would do. For once, it wasn't me. He's in the, the fencing trailer. It's old. My grandpa's old trailer. It's junk now. What? I don't need my seatbelt on. I'm a big girl. That's just for little girls and boys. Yours.
got the sprayer hooked up and he's riding on the back on the way in which is safer right Rob? Yeah. yeah no Ryan and daddy over here we go let's pick it up all right I guess that's good I got my front watch out for the piece of tin It's hard to record. And drive at the same time. This is an accident waiting to happen. But we're doing it. We're doing it for the YouTube. All right, now time to do some more work. Last thing, and we go home. so far. That's gonna go right here. video and do this very good all right last tractor of the day hopefully and the old TS it's the one we call a TS the new TS it's my mom's tractor my mom's tractor um, so we're gonna get this I remember what a big deal it was when my dad bought this tractor when I was a kid so she's hanging in there this is the one Josh busted the glass out of so I'm gonna have to get a new one. So we're gonna go hook this up to the disc harem and just get it out of the shop. So I um, can work on other things in there and probably another month or so we'll um, cut up that field. So we did not get to spraying today. Josh will probably spray tomorrow um, while I'm at work. He's off this week. So fingers crossed. Last thing. toolbox. I walked down here. He said, make sure you close up my toolbox before you go and a tailgate. So it's a good thing he said that because I would have definitely not done that. I would have not even noticed. Here we go. We're towing this truck out of the way. Let's see how it goes.
and trim those up. And my potatoes are still soaking. Um, halfway for dirt and half because uh, I saw kids are crying. And partially because I saw that uh, you're supposed to soak them to get like some starch comes out or something. I don't know. Um, vegetable will be corn. So here's what the potatoes look like going in the oven. I preheated to 400 and then here goes the chicken. And honestly, I think I'm just going to do whatever the air fryer tells me. Let's see for chicken. I lied. It says 20. I don't think it needs 20. I think we'll try 12. So very thin. Going in. And then my ancestors will tell me when it's all done. Yeah.